Okay, so we removed the carb. It was a little difficult, but it wasn't really. I just wasn't seeing it. All wires and stuff. I removed them safely. Nothing broke in the process, so we're fine. Open hood. So now we're going to go into the process of dissecting the carburetor. Trying to remove this capacitor thing. It seems a little broken. We can't get a dang tool in there, which is fobulating me. So, yeah, that's the part that's really confusing me. It's the fact that you can't get your tool in there. Like an itty bitty wrench or something. Like this. Pretty sure it doesn't even fit. Yeah, you need something thin. Sorry, I'm blocking the view. I'm looking for tools that could fit it, of course. to get really grody in here in a second. Is it empty? Well, I removed the... Say that's a good thing. I know y'all can be want I'm new to the game. Pretty sure it isn't gonna let me in. Someone like weld it. What else? Do I have like a flathead here or something? Didn't want it without force. drenched in oil. That must have been from when it flipped over. Yep, that's Earl. Well, if we can't get it like this, let's take the brake cleaner we have. Go outside. Brake cleaner is literally the same thing as starting fluid. So, I'm gonna go prep us outside. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to take this. And then this. All right. Nice and sunny. Perfect. This one I wanted. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to see me or anything, but... Well, it's the right amount of starting fluid to start the motor. Or if we're going to be getting that far. Probably not. That's enough brake clear and waste of that. I make a guy who starts a diesel engine like break clean and cry. Well I mean I can't complain. Not bad. I mean, that's the best I'm going to get cleaned out of it. If it's a runaway, it's a runaway, right? Well, I'm going to go ahead and get some paper towels and wipe this up. So, that does it for part three. I'll see you in part four.